Well, what the hell? Ah! Ah! I clicked the recording start button and it didn't start, so I was going to stop it and restart it, but then it started, now I'm scared. Anyways, hello everybody and welcome back to some more, um, some more of the Gungeon. What is going on with that cigarette? It's stuck in the air. Is that because she, because she messes with time? If so, that's pretty cool. Let's see, let's see. She's got one now. What's it going to do? What's it going to do? I'm excited. <laughs> Oh, nope, she just absorbs it into her hand. Fair enough. Anyways, 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 anyways. Um, we are just going to quickly grab, I don't know, you. Um, and let's go see what custom characters want to play as. Pursuit, uh, Pursuit is definitely one that I want to give a go at again soon. But we've got quite a lot of different characters down here that I want to try first. There's also a cigarette in midair over here. Uh, so we've got this dragon. we got the resourceful rat. Um, we've got... The Marine. Uh, the Tempted Marine. I don't know what exactly that is. Um, we've also got um, the Loop Lich. Let's try the Loop Lich, shall we? Ooh, he moves pretty cool. Oh, what a cool roll. That's so cool. Right, let's see what this guy starts with. Makarov. Okay, this guy's actually a really basic custom character. It's just his starting uh, gear. So let's maybe check someone else. Um, we've got this little, little dragon fella who has a little... Zoom dash. There we go. We've got some custom items here. The fire direct hand. The fire breath allows the hold to breathe a stream of controllable flames. Very cool. And the heart of fire. Grants the user immunity to fire and the ability to double jump uh, and increase damage to enemies on fire. Damn. Double jump. Oh, that's such a cool animation for that. That works so well. I absolutely love that. Right, I've not got any fucking rainbow modes on, am I? Okay, good. Right, let's get gone. Cool, I'm interested in this character. This seems like a fun one. It's one that I've seen hanging around for a long while, actually. I've just never really been tempted into trying. But at the minute, I'm kind of on a, a bit of a... Bit of a new kick of, um... Trying to just... Try new things in Gungeon, show off more things. This is a character that definitely deserves a, a spotlight. One second. There you go. Right, okay, so first things first, let's have a look what, what you're uh, giving us. We got, I can't remember what that is. Is that boss bullets? Um, what is the deal here? What, what, what would be the deal? Um, remove most UI information. Oh, hell yeah. Yes, okay. Weird. We are playing hoodless. We do get our stats at the side, which is rather nice. Uh, but everything else, we are completely unaware of. Now, just let me check what boss bullets actually does. Um, greatly increases damage dealt to bosses. I thought that was the case, but I had to just be sure about that. Oh, okay. That stream of fire is interesting. Not what I was expecting at all. I thought it'd be more of a flamethrower type deal rather than a, a single... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, it is more of a flamethrower deal. What the hell is that? That is amazing. Okay. So, I think it recharges based on how much damage we've dealt to how long we can use that for. Hello, chest. It's gonna be hell on earth to keep track of how many keys I have. Absolute pain. Fire! Um, okay, so for some reason for a hot second that wasn't setting you on fire. Hmm. The flamethrower doesn't seem amazing. I think it's mainly just there to set enemies on fire so you get that extra damage against them. I don't think it's actually meant for dealing damage, really, by the looks of it. But then again, this already sets things on fire sometimes, so... I'm unsure about that. I also don't know how much money I have either. Yep. This is going to be really tricky. Also, something... Nevernamed was mentioning this in a previous episode, but something is messing with my prices of my shops. Because the first floor, they shouldn't be 38. And the character said nothing about more expensive shops. So, I don't know what's causing that. If anyone could look into that, I'd be grateful, because I have no idea what's causing it. Good. 
Whoop, whoop. The flap flap is pretty lovely. I love that. You can just zoom across half the room. I love that. I like the noise it makes when we use that as well. And we got this chest here with the corrupted bullets. Let's have a little look, see what they do. Warped by a fracture in reality, these bullets no longer adhere to normal standards of movement. Very intriguing indeed. Okay. Right. Oh, bollocks. Okay. This is going to be interesting. We have no UI and we also have Tiny Planet, so... It's not even really Tiny Planet, it's a whole... It's a whole new thing. I don't even know what to call this. Oh! <laughs> that was so enjoyable to dive over all of those like that. That was so enjoyable. Actually aiming for enemies is going to be so difficult. Right, um, we don't have another key yet, do we? No. See if we can buy one now. Don't know how much health I have right now, so let's do one munch. See if we can afford it. We can't. Let's do a second munch then, shall we? I want the extra key. And then we get ghost bullets. Oh my lord. All the bullet mods. By the way, something that I, I've realized this chest is from um, um, Cells mod, Unstable Strafe, whatever you want to call her. Um, and she is currently sort of not doing Gungeon modding. But it'd be nice if this chest got kind of sorted at some point where it didn't just show up every floor. Because at the minute, you get, get situations like that where you get two items rather than an item and a gun. And for the first floor, that can be kind of problematic depending on the character you're playing as. So. But having ghost bullets with this could be pretty good. Ow. The fire kind of distracted me there. Yeah, I, I don't really know how to aim this. So. This is going to have to be a, a very much a learning experience for all of us involved. We were not able to see how much health the boss has either, which is interesting. Oh, well, I killed it pretty quick, to be honest. Unfortunately, no flawless for us, but there you go. And we get whatever this behemoth is. The Ember Cannon. Seems like it, uh, it fits the theme of the character. This mighty furnace was created to warm up a group of hopeless souls trapped in the freezing hollow. Um, though it no longer burns with its ancient ferocity, it has yet to run cold in a thousand years. This is a charge weapon. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay. With this setup, that's pretty cool. There's also apparently ammo somewhere in here, but I think it's underneath this, so I'm not going to bother. Okay, let's check on the ammo of our weapons. We have to open that, open the wheel. Right, let's get gone. This is a confusing run. I'm enjoying it, but it is confusing. It is confusing. But yeah, this is kind of interesting. I really like that wizard at the start. I hope he has quite a lot of options for what you can do. It seems like he would. Seems like he'd have quite a lot of different options for what he could do, to be honest. Okay, ghost bullets with this seems like it could be pretty good. We need something fast firing. At the minute, we don't really have anything like that. At the minute, I am playing this pretty randomly, essentially. It's very hard to hit things directly. Like, I'm trying to hit stuff, but it doesn't always work. 
Thank you for the health there. Very, very nice. Oh, we can see our blanks now, apparently. I'm not quite sure why that is. We couldn't see those last floor. Good, at least. What we need now is um, snow bullets. So our, our shot sizes get larger the longer they're in the air. But by the way, this does just seem like a reskin of the fire hand in that it actually um, has a random chance. Like, it, it, it acts like the D20 where the shot can be sometimes smaller or larger and deal varying damage. For those of you that didn't know, the fire hand, being a D&D &D reference, has that ability where it will sort of randomize the uh, damage that the shot does and the size of the shot uh, between 1 and 20. So sometimes you can get a really low-powered shot, sometimes you can get a super-powered shot. And you'll, you'll see a few of those in here. Like, that shot, the first shot I fired there was really big, but some of the others were a lot smaller. Sort of on average, you're going to get a pretty mediocre shot, but sometimes you'll get some really big ones. This guy is a real pain in the ass to kill. I just can't fucking hit him. There you go, finally. Another... We're not getting great guns for this, I've got to admit. with a lot of walls doesn't really work well for us, does it? The Frost Leech. Sounds interesting. I'll give it a go if I can afford it. I currently cannot. Yeah, rooms with a lot of walls just don't work for us. I'm sure there's a few weapons that are absolutely amazing with this setup. But currently, we don't have any of them. Okay, the... The, um... UI is, is bugging the hell out right now. We might die, honestly. I'm taking so much damage, I have absolutely no idea how much health I have left. I know that these don't cast classes of boss for boss armor, but I think they still do classes of boss for our item that means we do more boss damage. Unfortunately, didn't get anything great out of that. I was hoping for a chest with an item in it, but we can't be so lucky. We are killing things in one hit if we barrel stuff on with this thing. I also need to remember that we can double roll as well. That's pretty useful information for us, to be honest. Okay. This is a fun but tricky run. How many of you have, uh, have of been playing modded gungeon re uh, recently and also how many of you have like gotten into it as of late either because of the alexa series or just the fact that it's now on the thunderstore how many of you have recently decided to give it a go It'd be interesting to hear i hope there's more people trying it and if not give it a go it's it's a lot of fun not just to watch but also to play And then we got whatever this is, which has 800 ammo. Okay, this is more like it for ammo. Um, a medical instrument that doubles as a weapon in the wars before the Geneva Convention was rat um, ratified. Ratified. Medical personnel were seen as highly valuable targets. Many common medical tools were multi-purpose to aid with both the healing and hurting. Deals more damage at the top end of enemies' HP. Pretty good. And it seems... Oh, it's a beam. It's a, it's a wacky beam.
It's a wacky little beam, is it what it is? It's a wacky little beam. I can get behind it. Excuse me, why did it put it away? It's our most accurate weapon right now. Why is the hand still here? Go away. I don't know if it normally pierces, but with ghost bullets we can pierce with it as well, so that's good. Good old curly whirly here. And then we got whatever this is. Tezuki's Gift. Grants three random stat ups on pickup. I didn't see what stat ups we got there. It didn't seem to give me three, or maybe it's just stats that I can't currently see. I don't know. Either way, didn't seem like it was that good for us, unfortunately. Can we afford whatever this was yet? We can. The Frost Leech. It's an item. Uh, if an item is on cooldown, healing will instead remove a bit of any item's cooldown. Will bite off your finger if you give him the chance. Quality D. Why was that 66 then? Okay. There's some really bizarre things going on with pricing right now. Um, I can't change. I can't view my uh, my shop prices on my stats, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, if anyone knows what's going on with that, please do let me know, because that seems to be well broken. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, for God's sake. Bullshit gun fairy. <laughs> This, using this thing is an absolute pain in the ass. I love it, but it's a pain in the ass. I'm getting hit so much trying to use this thing. Oh, there was one over there that was... Okay, I died. Okay. Note to self. Getting rid of UI, never a good choice. Don't do it again. Um, because it is impossible to know what the fuck's going on. I would have played that way differently if I knew I was that close to death. Anyways, let's quick restart. Oh, God. If it gives me the UI deal again, I'm still going to take it. <laughs> but that is a bad idea. It's very hard to know what the hell's going on. Very, very tricky. Indeed. We restart, we go again. We see what we can do. Come on now, game. Bustle your bustle. Right, what do you want this time? What the hell's that? Your stomach. No healing. Do it. I still don't have UI, bitch. <laughs> Some fucker stole my UI and won't give it back. Okay, this chopper seems good. Yeah, this little helicopter's mint. I am guessing it's S tier. Holy fuck, this thing can carry a run. Ow! I can't heal and I've already been hit twice. And I can't see my health, so... I'm just gonna end poorly again, but... Oh well. This little dude's crazy. This little dude is nuts.
Let him do everything. He's off to kill whoever's up there. Kill the big boy. Kill him, thank you. His attacks are so crazy, especially the missiles. Oh, we're immune to fire, I always forget that. Very good with this character being immune to fire. I can't believe he didn't give me my UI back. What a scam. I mean, I'm guessing if I returned to the breach, I'd get it back. Oh, whoa! Whoa! I, don't, I, I could not read that, I'm sorry. I saw the word Yule, and that was it. Okay. Lead Heart. I want that too. I want to try a lot of the things from Oddments, because there's some cool stuff in Oddments. The, the, this little chopper dude, he must have some target prioritization code or something, because he went straight for the buffer guy then. There's so many enemies between the buffer guy and him. He one shot, he one shot that dude. This thing is crazy. Petrifying tables. I want to see how well he does against bosses. Good. Come on, Chopper. Get in there. That attack is crazy. So I don't know what you're saying. It said something about you're better. Um, can we afford this yet? We cannot. Let's buy this then. Open the chest. Shadow bullets. That could be really good. Right, it's boss time. Now you little fella, I have a feeling you're going to wreck this boss. Please do so. Oh my god. That attack's so cool, but goddamn is it hard to see anything while you're using it. My god, okay. That was a pretty quick kill. My little buddy's doing well. What the hell? We added an empty heart container on. Game does not like that. Game does not like that at all. Picking up the mass round added in like a heart container onto our UI that isn't there. Something is going on with the hiding the UI thing. Apparently it does, the way that it hides the UI is not done, not done so correctly, because, uh, yeah. What on earth happened then? Oh my goodness, this floor is the laggiest thing on earth. What is actually happening with this run? Oh my goodness, the frame rate. What happened to cause this? This is the first time in a little while that I've broken everything. But believe me, I always do it. We are playing at around 10 frames a second here. Basically what I'm assuming is there's a room somewhere on this floor that's causing immense lag. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out, I guess.
We'll see in about 10 years time. Ow. What the hell's hitting me? Oh my goodness. This is pain. Let the slideshow continue. This enemy's gonna be impossible to dodge. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, no, I, I managed it just about. Oh, that guy I could not dodge. Ah, I'm just running directly into him. Reload, you mug. Oh my god, I'm duck diving and weaving between some of these shots here. Okay, not 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 all of these shots, but I think I got hit there. This has become quite troublesome. Oh, you're not dead? How is that cubulon not dead? Yeah, no way I could dodge that. <laughs> Couldn't even react. Anyhow, <laughs> bit of a weird episode. Fun character though. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And yeah, <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. That was uh, quite, quite an odd episode. Indeed. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.